action card. It's almost like they're so stubborn, Virgo, they refuse to allow you to see that they're hurting. Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We are going to be pulling our cards a little bit differently today to save my hands. I have many readings to do, so we're gonna take them energetically instead. Your person will be on the, or you will be on the left, your person will be on the right. So this is for you. Now Virgo's person, please. Those are for the extended, as well as, we'll leave them up here. So Virgo, um, I, I just wanted to wish you all a happy birthday. Um, no matter when your birthday is, if it's already passed, or whether it's coming up, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. You for your person apparently all right so now we're gonna get rolling on the existing one all right so these are the unicorn duck for Virgo please Virgo for you we have hope Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. So it looks like you've been through some sort of difficult circumstance, whether it's in regards to love or it's in regards to some other aspect of your life. Your person has possibility. Raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. So Virgo, right now your person could be going after a, after a new job, something of that nature, um, some sort of new opportunity. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're going after a new love interest, just that they're going after a new opportunity. Usually when I see possibility, I think of career. You know, I think anything is possible. You know, miracles are possible. Miracles can happen and anything is possible here. Now it's possible um, as well for this to be flip-flopped at any given point in time. So if that's you, Virgo, then feel free to swap the characters. So with hope though, I feel like maybe you feel they've flown the coop, they've left you in some way. I'm getting separation for some reason. And there's this, this general sense that perhaps the reason they left isn't quite what they said it was, you know? Maybe, maybe there's some other reasoning behind it. It's almost like you're a little bit, um, there's a little bit of a lack of trust with regards to this person. All right. <laughs> yeah, see, look, I mean, these so go together. These so go together. You'll survive this, Virgo new solutions and beginnings. It looks like you've definitely been through a tough time. Let me get your person. So Virgo's love and trust, please. Virgo's love and trust. All right, thank you very much for allowing me to take this extra time to do it this way. Um, I need to save my hands to keep going on these readings, so. So for you, Virgo, I, I really see that there's been some sort of difficulty, some sort of struggle, some sort of trial here. And, you know, as a result of that, Spirit is saying, you know, Virgo, you've got a new solution coming. Oh, you might have told this person to take a hike. <laughs> they have the card of you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness, face your true north. So they could have had a friend issue. They could have had, you know, a love issue. Um, in some way, they've had a people situation where somebody didn't like them. 
Um, whether that was you know you or somebody else, that's hard to say. It could be either, any of those. Okay, so for Virgo, please, for Virgo, please. For Virgo's person, Virgo's love interest, please. All right, so Virgo, stay optimistic about your love life. See, look at this, like all three of your cards perfectly go together. Um, you know, I know you guys are not used to me pulling cards that way, but that is a, you know, it's a valid way to take cards with tarot. Um, some readers use it all the time. Um, I haven't used it in a, in a while, but I think it's better for my hands right now. So you have stay optimistic about your love life, new solutions, possibilities, you'll survive this and hope. I, I'm getting the sense that either you told this person to take a hike or this person told you to take a hike or you had a big problem between the two of you. Um, and that we will see here in just a minute. All right, so you're, ooh. Your person has deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. All right, so what's the false mask? That everything is beautiful. <laughs> you know, they're, they're showing with this possibility card that everything's going great, life is good, everything's wonderful. But you're not for everyone says that they feel the sense of disconnection. They feel a sense as if they are, they've not been accepted by you or someone else. And so the deception here is them not showing you just how deeply wounded they are right now. Deeply wounded. All right, all these cards have been pre-shuffled just so you guys know. All right. Five cards for Virgo, please. Ten of coins. So it looks like you were originally at a place of happiness and stability and peace with this person. I just feel another card over here. Alright. Page of Wands. Here it looks like Justice, the Knight of Wands. Wow, it's like all these cards. They want six, well, seven. These two as well. All right, Virgo. Virgo. Looks like we have three. Three and one between you. Yeah. So there's a sense of there's a sense of strong heartbreak on your person's side, but you're not seeing it because of that deception card. It's almost like they're so stubborn, Virgo, they refuse to allow you to see that they're hurting, right? Instead, they're showing as this king of pentacles energy. Man or woman doesn't matter. But they're showing the sense of strength. They're showing the sense of perseverance. They're showing the sense that, you know, all is well. They're working hard. They're moving forward in their life. But yet with the five of coins, they feel trapped. They feel stuck. They feel disconnected from you. And with the seven of wands, they're not letting go. They look like they are, but they're not, right? So you are also showing, oh yeah, I'm doing great, family's wonderful, life is peaceful, things couldn't be better, and you know, I'm just, I'm just taking care of me, taking care of my house, taking care of my work, you know, spending time doing what I wanna do. And then with the Page of Wands, you too are not holding on, are holding on to this person, because the Page of Wands holds on to something that makes them feel alive, right? 
So now one of you is letting go. You're just doing it in a different manner. Your person over here looks like they're fighting for it. But you are like, eh, I'm turning my back. You know, then we've got the fox there. Somebody's been, somebody's been a sneaky fox, you know. So perhaps somebody feels that the other, either or, feels that the other has been sneaky or deceptive in some way, or that there's a sneaky element around them, right? With this particular justice card, the scale is not balanced. So Virgo, I see that no matter what mask you put on, things are not, not doing good. No matter what mask this person puts on, things are also not doing good. In between the two of you, there's a need, Virgo, for communication. A need to take some sort of action towards one another to correct and fix the energy that we have between you. Because between you, both of you are like, are showing this kind of like strong, stubborn energy, um, which I actually find kind of cute. Strong, stubborn energy. Everything's going well. I don't want you to see that things are, are, are not good right now. And, you know, you're just kind of covering it up and moving forward. And if you two both stay in a stubborn energy, nothing. Not, this doesn't go anywhere. See, it'll go to somebody saying sayonara for good, you know? Moving on into the sunset, moving on to something more peaceful, more, uh, more stable. Two of swords. Yeah, but you feel kind of stuck. What do I do? Will this just pass? Will this time just move on? High Priestess Judgment card. So you know that you need to make a decision, Virgo, on this person. Do you correct it or do you not? But yeah, you're not. And I feel that, that you're holding this all back. This person doesn't know that you're trying to figure this out. They don't know that you're trying to figure out if you should move back towards them or not. Eight of Wands, the world, <laughs> two Virgo cards, okay. So there's a strong focus, it's like you want to start things back up and you're not too sure if you want to start things back up, um, if you're a cross watcher. There's a desire for communication so that you know whether or not it's over, right? You're still holding on tight. Cross watcher. With the magician, you may be trying to manifest this person back into your life. Um, and the hermit is highly focused on the things that have happened in the past in this particular deck. So there may be a strong focus on, you know, what has happened between the two of you is it going to be repeated? Is history going to repeat itself if the two of you work things out? But both of you are in need of making a decision. And I love this. I feel that you will make a decision. You will, either you're going to make this decision, Virgo, or they are, but it's going to bring a sense of balance to the two of you, to the connection. The justice card, this one has equal scales. That one did not. So good things coming your way once one of the two figures out your direction. All right, Virgo, Whew, that one's kind of a rough one. Um, we're gonna get rolling on the extended. Thank you so very much for uh, being here today. If this did not resonate with you, please be sure to check out your other birth chart placements. Um, please also keep in mind these are a general reading, so if you're in need of more personalized information, please visit empressmoontaro.com. All right, love and light to you, Virgo. See you soon. All right, Virgo. So yours seems to be pretty overwhelming, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take your person's cards first. So your person has first light, beginning a new cycle, joy and delight, open your heart to joy, and flexible. This is interesting because with the cards that your person has, 
Despite the difficulties, despite the struggles, your person's looking forward to a new beginning. If they would prefer the new beginning to be with you, but if it's not gonna be with you, they're, they're willing to move forward in their life. So that's actually really positive. That's very healthy. Very healthy. All right, let's take some cards. How does this person feel about Virgo right now? Knight of Wands. How does this person feel about Virgo? Eight of Cups. Five of Cups. All right. So they keep, they, they're putting off this energy that all is well, all is fine. They do feel you're, that you are their perfect counterpart because they're showing up as the king of coins. Um, so they see you too as being a good stable match, right? There's a hope within, their, within this person's heart, number one, um, she or he is actually... Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.